This is Swedish massage for the posterior thigh and gluteal areas. We start by uh, undraping the area we need to work. This can be done in a couple of different ways. First, by rolling back the draping material to open up a spot uh, to work that's triangular in shape, maintains the client's privacy as far as uh, the genital region and the gluteal cleft. The other way that we can open up the region, which is a bit more secure even, is to uh, roll back the draping again, but this time bring it around under the leg to the front. And this creates a really nice uh, barrier to any of those sensitive areas. And then opening up the gluteal area after that to create the same size and shape open space to work. Next we apply lubricant, warming it in the hands, smoothing it onto the body, which allows us to do some gliding motions. Gliding motions can occur with various parts of the hands and forearms. I'm using a fist here. Can be a wide open flat hand, a forearm. The pressure is towards the heart. Purpose here is to move fluid um, through the tissues and back to the heart for refreshment. So Swedish massage does a lot of gliding and often starts with gliding. Then it's nice to go into some kneading. Again, more pressure on the hand that's pushing towards the heart. The upper hand is really just for completing the movement. can go back and forth several times. So this movement does move fluid. It also helps to start uh, moving the muscle tissue beneath, relaxing it, lengthening it, opening it up. We can go into some spreading motions. This is a variety, a variation on kneading using different parts of the hands in a different way. Pressure can be varied based on the client's preferences. Can have some alternation between techniques. This would be a ringing motion, which would be another variation on the kneading technique. It's a squeezing of tissue and letting go. Pumps blood and lymph fluid through tissues. All of these motions and techniques are soothing and relaxing to the nervous system creating a sense of well-being and relaxation, reducing stress. From here, I would move on to the lower leg and do some uh, compressions afterward to blot the lubricant and also to close off this limb before moving on.